Alrighty, so there's been quite the announcement already um, from Canada's Wonderland today. Um, so this drone footage is from the other day, uh, still pretty recent. And I was making a separate video with the drone footage, but I was like, there's nothing really to talk about in this footage, so I might as well use it to talk about their announcement today. So for those of you that don't know, Canada's Wonderland has officially delayed their opening to about mid-summer. That brings us to end of June, beginning of July, mid-July. Um, again, our original prediction for Canada's Wonderland opening has been pushed back to July for this channel as well. I think we're looking at mid-July, as I've been saying a couple times, for an opening with the vaccination numbers um, and the numbers declining. I, I do think there is still a chance that Wonderland could open early mid-July, and uh, I'm just going to keep that optimism. Um, but nonetheless, there is a few things to talk about. So a lot of people I see are talking about, oh, why is it only being extended to Labor Day uh, 2022? So with the season passes being pushed back. So if you own a Canada's Wonderland season pass, they are now good until Labor Day 2022. Um, and a lot of people are asking, well, what happens to Halloween Haunt? Um, and Winterfest then, are you going to have to buy another season pass? Well, for those of you who don't know or don't remember, when you buy a season pass at Canada's Wonderland for the following season, so let's say I go and I purchase a season pass for 2023, it's going to let me in for the remainder of the 2022 season. So when your passes expire Labor Day, Wonderland, I guess, is assuming, and you're going to have to if you want to go to Winterfest and uh, Halloween Haunt, purchase a 2023 season pass, and it should let you in for the remainder of the 2022 season. They did that, I think... Um, with the year 2019, I believe. It was either 2018, 2019, they did that. So I'm expecting the same thing, and that resolves that issue of the season passes expiring before the end of the season. Um, with that being said, there are still a few things in the park that are going to require a lot of work. So there's one section under Vortex that still has Winterfest set up. Uh, some of those buildings that flash lighting. Um, all the rides are wrapped and not ready to go. The Bat also doesn't have the trains on the track. Um, from what I remember near the beginning of the lockdown. So those trains are still not assembled on the track. So there's still a lot of work, but there's also a lot less work. Mindbuster is still in disarray. They haven't even finished the woodwork on Mindbuster, um, let alone the track work. So the thing though with Wonderland is they got a really strong team and I can see them wrapping up all this really quickly and getting the park ready. Wonderland always seems to surprise me in terms of how fast they can get things done and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that hasn't changed at all. Nonetheless, I am concerned about the financials for Wonderland and I don't mean in terms of closing or anything like that. I just mean that this is like approaching three years of paused payments and no income to Wonderland. So that is going to do something in terms of our projects and our additions. I'm going to talk about that in a separate video because it is a lengthy thing and I just wanted to get my thoughts and opinions out on the 2022 season passes being extended. Um, I think it's a good idea, but I also think, wow, uh, it's definitely uh, going to hit them hard. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, comment down below what you think of the announcement. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have an amazing week. Bye.